A legitimate 6 IV Ditto is the best Pokemon in the entire franchise, because with it, you have the fastest way of obtaining competitive Pokemon for nearly every single species. Naturally, this makes a 6 IV Ditto very desirable, but it's also incredibly rare, because you have to get 6 IVs in every single stat. Now IVs range from 0 to 31, which means you have a 1 in 32 chance to the power of 6. Now there are some methods of guaranteeing a certain amount of IVs, there's never been a way of guaranteeing 6 IVs on a Pokemon instantly every time, so you have to put in a lot of grinding, however it is possible with enough time put into it. But with Pokemon Home, we are now going to have access to the fastest way of getting a 6 IV Ditto to use in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and hopefully, if you carry it with you, the rest of your Pokemon adventure by bringing it through Pokemon Home or into other games. So once you have your 6 IV Ditto, you're pretty much set for life, minus a couple of months of downtime between generations. Generation 8, for example, half of November, December, January, half of February, three months every couple of years and then the transfer becomes available and then you get your 6 IV ditto again so maybe you get in the new games or the new generation or you just kind of struggle a little bit competitively fortunately with raid battles and stuff like that there's just a lot of natural really good IVs there's also gift Pokemon like the Eevee from playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee that you can then use to breed into other um, breeding setups. I've done a guide on how to breed in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but overall getting competitive Pokemon has been pretty good, but you really want that 6 IV Ditto and we can now utilize Pokemon Home to get the most efficient 6 IV Ditto. And before people say it in the comments section, no. If a Pokemon stat is shown as hyper trained, it does not breed down. So it's not like you can go out, get a low 100 ditto, use a gold bottle cap on it, and start breeding with it. You have to get a straight up ditto. And this brings me to another point about legitimacy. If you did not obtain the ditto yourself, or have absolutely 100% verification that the ditto is legitimate, it's hacked. And breeding with a hack ditto is no different than cheating, which is why you want to leave a like and share this video with all of your friends, because having the easiest access to a 6 IV ditto means that you're going to have a legitimate ditto for your breeding. Now here's where I pull a sneaky on ya, because out of all the methods for obtaining high IV Pokemon, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee has the best way of getting 6 IV Pokemon in the game. So what you might be thinking is, well if I go to Cerulean Cave, I go to the top floor where those items respawn, you can find Ditto there, and that is going to be the best way to farm Ditto. However, that's only a 5% chance to spawn, and the Ditto are higher level. If you go to the Pokemon Mansion on Cinnabar Island and you make it down to the basement, so the place where you get the key to enter Blaine's lab, which means if you've beaten the game, you're already in a good farming setup anyways. If you go down there, Ditto has a 10% chance to spawn, so it's more common and it's a lower level, so it's actually going to be easier to capture. And it's actually really easy to get back to the basement if you've already been there and you haven't fooled around with any of the switches. So what you want to do is you want to head to the second floor, you wrap around behind this, and then you head up to the third floor, and then what you want to do is cut down into an area. I'm trying to like just keep some kind of commentary going as I'm trying to keep up with the gameplay. But uh, yeah, you just head down this little patch, go down the ladder, loop around to the side, and then there'll just be a staircase down, and that takes you right to the basement. That right there. So when you're in the basement, then we have a 10% chance of finding a ditto. So you can either just kind of like keep respawning the area, or, or maybe ditto just spawns like that for you. And then, this is where just the lost mechanics of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee come into play. So Ditto is going to be a frustrating little Pokemon to capture, and that is going to be like the extra little bit of challenge right here, is that it's not like you press the Pokeball or you have a false swipe or something, and then you instant catch the Pokemon every time. It's, it's going to be a little tricky to get it going. And that's where you can get help from a second player. So if you do a synchronized throw, you do end up getting a higher catch rate for the Pokemon, but it's still really frustrating with Ditto, and you will be burning through resources twice as fast, especially when you, when you get bluffed like that. But Ditto will bounce around for a bit, then it'll stand still, make sure it bounces, does its little wiggle, then you can line up a throw. Remember, getting it inside the circle, so a nice, great, or excellent throw does also increase the capture odds. And it doesn't matter which Pokeball your ally is using, as long as you are doing a synchronized throw. But if Ditto ends up being too frustrating for you, then I just recommend handheld mode with a lot of raspberries. That could be pretty good. It also means, like, 
you don't necessarily have to worry about the combo if you're just trying to piece together some dittos. So maybe farm like golden raspberries for a little bit in Cerulean Cave and then catch every ditto that you see from there. That's also a possibility that you could go for. But let's see if, you know, ditto wants to be frustrating right now. That was a nice throw. That was synchronized. That was pretty good. And it's still going to break out. So with this, you know, you're going to get less trolling from the ditto if you do it in handheld mode since it's easier to target the Pokemon, but eventually you do get a feel for it and it can work out. Uh, you will need a good amount of money. I do have a money making guide for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. You can check that in the description down below. Pretty much like I said, it's kind of like relearning Pokemon Let's Go all over again. And then what you want to do is just build up that catch combo. The higher you have catch combo with Pokemon, the more common they become. And then at 30, that's when we start seeing some crazy IVs and that's going to be the secret to getting a six IV ditto. Now this does seem pretty slow to start, but if you've already caught a ton of ditto, either for like a shiny hunt, or you've already won just like a 6 IV ditto in preparation of Pokemon Bank. That's why I'm releasing this video, hopefully before the launch of Pokemon Bank. It depends on when they drop it and stuff like that. But you can do this now, and then that 6 IV ditto will be ready the second Pokemon Home comes out. Did I say Pokemon Bank? I meant Pokemon Home. You guys know what I'm talking about. So this is actually like kind of a good thing that you've had over a year to prepare for and it's not really that crazy but can be a little annoying at times and you will be burning through a lot of pokeballs and then after that it's just pokemon let's go mechanics as i've been saying because then you check the summary of the dittos that you've caught press y for the judge feature and you can see the ivs of those ditto once you get that 30 catch combo it's a guaranteed four ivs which means one in 32 chance of getting a five iv and one in 900 chance of getting a six iv but a six iv is very doable and just through my multiple shiny hunts and chaining and adventures of catching pokemon let's go i have ended up with several six iv pokemon and another thing you could be looking for is not so good. That if you get a 4 or 5 IV ditto that also has a not so good in attack or speed, that is a very powerful breeding ditto. And even if you don't manage to get a 6 IV ditto, by having a ditto that has 5 IVs and everything but special attack and then 5 IVs and everything but attack, you effectively have a combined 6 IV ditto. You give each of them a destiny knot, you swap them out as you need to depending on if the Pokemon is a physical attacker or a special attacker, and then you're good to go. Also Pokemon Let's Go, if you're doing this many ditto catches and this much chaining, you'll likely end up with a shiny ditto. I got a couple of shiny Chansey from doing my level 100 shenanigans, and the reason why this is still much faster than what happens in Pokemon Sword and Shield is because Pokemon Sword and Shield, if you do a 5 star ditto raid, it does give you a guaranteed chance at a 4 IV ditto or higher, but there is a problem. You're going to have to refresh it, you need a purple beam, and then you also have to hope it's going to be a 5 IV ditto. You can also do din resetting inside of it, but it takes a couple minutes to set up, it takes a couple minutes to do the raid itself, so you're looking at, you know, a few 4 IV ditto per hour, whereas when you get the 30 combo set up in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, now you're talking about a ditto or two every minute, and that's going to make things pretty good for getting crazy IV dittos as you just kind of like chain really good Pokemon together. Now, here's why you stick along and you watch the entire video, because there could be an even better and faster way to get six IV dittos in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and that involves a very interesting quirk about the games. So, Here's a Parasect that I caught. I also want to kind of show you guys, yeah, a 6 IV is possible. Here's my 6 IV precious Parasect. I got it while shiny hunting a Parasect, but then we can look over here. I have a shiny level 100 Parasect that also has 6 IVs. However, it's level 100, which suggests this Pokemon is hyper trained, and it's because I hyper trained it. But it doesn't show hyper trained. So the question is... Is Pokemon Let's Go so reduced and simplified in the mechanics that when you hyper train a Pokemon, it just flat maxes out its IVs? If that is the case, that means getting a ditto to level 100 in Pokemon Let's Go Pichu and Eevee, hyper training it and transferring it through Pokemon Home could just give you a straight up breedable 6 IV ditto and that doesn't work inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield, Pokemon Sun and Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. This could be a really strange quirk with the hyper training and we're going to have to wait until Pokemon Home becomes available, people transfer their Pokemon, and they see how it works inside the games. 
But if this is the case, then that means you can effectively get an unlimited amount of 6IV Ditto incredibly quickly. That I did a video about this time last year getting every Pokemon to level 100 in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And it takes less time to catch all the species, use Chansey to get them all to level 100, than it takes to beat the game. Now if we just make this only about Ditto, you know, you catch dozens and dozens and dozens of Ditto, maybe you catch Ditto until you get a 6 IV Ditto, and then you start a massive Chansey combo, and then you use that Chansey combo to then get the rest of the Dittos up to level 100, because if you're leveling up 6 Pokemon at a time through extreme experience rates, you can actually get it down to where you're getting a level 100 Pokemon like every 7 minutes on average. Now I'd hold off on getting this carried away just yet, however, you might be able to set it up, you know, start that Chansey combo, start that Chansey chain, maybe you already have a couple of dittos lying around, maybe you're already in a Chansey chain from whatever competitive ambitions that you had for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but like, you know, you get that catch combo up on the Chanseys, and then if it turns out this method works, you're already good to go, ready to go for getting as many 6 IV dittos as you want, and if it ends up not working out that way, it was a minimal time investment. So you, there's a lot of work that you could put into this preemptively that also gets you set up with the best Pokemon in the game. Now there is a caveat to that because getting a Pokemon to level 100 doesn't instantly hyper train it to max IVs. You will need to do the hyper training itself by using bottle caps and gold bottle caps. But if you use a lot of ditto that you got on a catch combo trying to get 5 and 6 IV ditto, then the resources become a lot less expensive. Now you can get one silver bottle cap a day or just one regular bottle cap a day battling Mina. You can also get a gold bottle cap by farming in the game corner. So there's areas in the game corner where items spawn on the ground and it's it's kind of interesting. I've done like multiple farming um, setups. I've done several days of like trying to figure out how often or how rare a gold bottle cap is and it's kind of inconsistent. I found that about on average you can get a golden bottle cap in 10 minutes and there's a chance of getting a gold bottle cap for each of the spawns in the game corner. So I've gotten some days where so I've gotten two gold, gold bottle caps in a day. Regular bottle caps can spawn as well. Still pretty rare. Also, I'm trying to like, it's all coming back to me on where like these uh, spawn locations are. But there's six chances, and depending on how it goes, you can get multiple gold bottle caps per day. I've ended live streams where it's like the first one I check, gold bottle cap. I've done live streams where I've ended up with like two gold bottle caps and stuff. Or if you've just been grinding it out, you know, it doesn't take any investment to turn on Pokemon Let's Go, battle Mina and then go check the game corner a little bit. And if you've been doing that for a couple days or if you just have spare bottle caps, that's a lot of six IV ditto that are ready to go. Or if you just get say 20 ditto to level 100, then just going to take a couple days. You just, as you get the six IV ditto, transfer them to Pokemon home, you're good to go. You're set up. Also, there's the PP max that spawns in Cerulean Cave. If you have PP maxes, maybe other Pokemon that you're transferring from Pokemon Let's Go, max out their PP, get them set up competitively, transfer them into Pokemon home, and I think that's gonna be it. So yeah, from like all of the testing, all the other methods, I've done crazy things. You know, I've caught hundreds of Ditto in Pokemon Blue version Virtual Console because transfer from Blue version Virtual Console have a guaranteed three IVs. I wanted to see like if I could roll a six IV off of that. So I've caught tons of Pokemon that way through that transfer method. I've done Ditto SOS, I've done AFK Ditto SOSing, and a lot of other weird things. And this just seems to be the fastest method for getting a 6 IV of any Pokemon in the wild by catching them. And if it turns out hyper train Pokemon have an undetectable 6 IVs, then it gets even crazier from there. So that's also why you need to subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a video the day Pokemon Home comes out, transferring from Pokemon Let's Go and seeing how it ends up working out. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.